Hey folks, hey YouTube, welcome to an episode on Unique Trail Adventures. We're working on removing the rear door panels of a Prius. Mine is a 2013, so Gen 3 is 2010 to 2015, so hopefully it's the same. Simple tools you need, Phillips screwdriver, right there, and pry tool. You can get a set of these cheap pry tools from Harbor Freight. So first thing, get behind the handle and using your pry tool, pry off this little plastic cover and they're just clips that's holding it be behind. So pretty easy to remove. This is what the back of it looks like. So right there behind that cover is the little Phillips screw. Lefty Lucy is a reminder to loosen up your screws and to tighten up, it's righty tighty. So after removing that screw, don't forget there's another screw right by the handle underneath the little foam pad covering it. So, so use your pry tool, get behind, get in between the gap of the door panel and the door frame. So gently lift it off and then as you start to pry it open, you will see where the clips make contact. There's multiple clips behind the door panel. So as you're gently opening that up, start prying. The better tool to use on here would be the fourth end of one of those pry tools, which has a wider base. So anyway, you just start popping it right by the clip. Be careful when you're trying to pop the clip so you don't break the plastic door panel. The insides of these door panels are plastic, which is sturdier than the old cardboard type. So in any case, always be careful so you don't end up breaking them. Sometimes when you're popping the doors, some of the clips might stay on the door panel easy enough to fix. After you get the door panel off, you're going to want to take off the clips from the door and then reattach it on the door panel if they haven't broken. If you happen to break them and snap, you can easily get these parts. You can get generic ones from auto parts stores or you can get the factory ones from Toyota. So here I was trying to pop the door open but was running through some difficulty as I forgot to take off the screw that's right in the middle. So basically there's only two Phillips screws for these door panels. So underneath here you remove this foam cover and right there you've got the second screw. So take that off and then your door panel should come off easily. These door panels are easy enough to take off so it only takes a couple of minutes. And once you get the hang of it, pretty easy to get off. So loosen up that screw completely and take them off and set them aside. Don't lose those screws. It's always better to have them secured because that's what holds on to the metal piece. That's basically what pulls the door in and attaches to this handle. So behind the door panel, once you get that off of the door, you've got a little connector. So here there's two cables, which is attached to the door handle. Pretty easy to take them off. You just slide the plastic piece, the green and the white one off of this black door handle piece. And then you lift off the cable. It looks kind of like uh, the end of a bicycle cable brake lever. So just take those off and then here I'm using that tool again where you can use a little flat screwdriver to push the clip in so you can remove that connector which is which goes to the switch for the power windows. Right there you just depress that part and then the clip comes off right away. And so here are an example of two of the clips staying in place and this is the fourth end of that other pry tool that I was talking about that comes in that kit. So take off these clips and when you get these clips off, you want to slide it back on the door panel so that way they stay in place. Pretty easy to come off. Right here after I get those clips, I'm going to show, I'm going to reattach it. It just slides over into that tab on the multiple clips on these door panels. And here I'm showing again how to reattach so putting it back together this is how you reattach the cable you slide the cable end with a ball into the groove and then slide the green and the white piece back over to the black behind that door panel lever and then slide it right from the top then carefully just 
look behind it make sure the clips pins are aligning into the hole in the door and then just you can use the base or the palm of your hand and just push it in push the clips back in easy enough to do just snap them back into place as you're going around make sure that the other ones are aligned that the other clips are going into the holes in the door because sometimes they might not be exactly where the holes are and you don't want to slam it in and then break those clips after that you are all done very easy to remove and reinstall these door panels very simple it only took me a couple of minutes in place and then you're good to go after that make sure you screw the two Phillips screws back in by the door handle and by the lever and then after you replace the screw in the door handle there put the little foam cover back on and after you screw the Phillips screw into the part by the lever then replace that plastic trim piece that snaps back in place and you're all done again thanks for watching please give a thumbs up or leave some comments if you have any other questions thanks again for watching please subscribe like share comment